Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here at the Travel Leaders Network Conference in Nashville. I'm here with a familiar face, John Lovell, who's president of Travel Leaders Group. And we're going to talk to John about the state of travel leaders and also the state of the travel industry right now, because obviously we're all, things are booming these days, and it's, it's great news, and I think it's great news for everybody out there. We're going to talk to John about that and a whole lot more on Insider Travel Report. John, first of all, it's great to be here. Thank you for inviting me once again. Uh, how many of these we've done? It's been quite a number, right? It has been quite a number, but I really appreciate you being here and taking time out of your busy schedule. So thank you. Well, I wouldn't miss it. And uh, yesterday we had a little press conference, and you're talking about some of the trends that are going on. And and let's let's talk about the sort of the big picture here. Where where, where does Travel Leaders Network stand today? What's the status of the group? The status of the group is really strong. Um, you know, business is back. Uh, Twenty two was actually the rebound year, uh, 23. We're, nobody expected it to be that bad. No, we really didn't. From an overall sales perspective on our preferred supplier sales, the overall network was up about 6% over 19 in 22. Which is the, the base year everybody is doing, 2019 right before COVID. Right? Correct, and I can't wait to, for 23 to be over in a lot of respects so we can start measuring in 24 over 23's business. Yeah, so things are looking good. Now, uh, would you say that Travel Leaders Network is now kind of completely recovered from the pandemic? Yeah, I, I, you know, we are completely recovered and we saw that in 22. However, you know, we, we over-indexed, uh, for lack of a better phrase, in terms of land sales. Cruise wasn't all the way back in 22. So now we're seeing a little bit of a leveling in terms of the business getting back to where it's always been. Um, in an or maybe, maybe even more, right? Yeah. Well, exactly. But, you know, the, just the percentages, you know, everything was indexed really high on the land side. Right. Cruise was a little bit low, but now we have, you know, the inventory's back, the capacity's back, so we're seeing it level out a little bit. No, and it's all great news. Now, one of the things is that you're kind of, you're part of a, a much larger organization, although you're a major part of that Internova Travel Group. And how have you seen the, your ability to leverage the power of Internova to really you know, become a force in the travel marketplace today? Well, I think we've always been a force in the travel That's marketplace. That's true. Um, but now, you know, because of Internova in the way we've structured the industry relations, supplier relations side of the equation, there's a lot we can do working with hotels, airlines, car rental, whatever it might be, to really create distinct programs for Internova, which then flow through the system. Mm -hmm. So that in that case, we're taking advantage of everybody's buying power. Yeah, and you do have an amazing barrier. Plus, you have organizations like you have certain. You, you, we we actually had a little talk about luxury travel and how much luxury travel uh, that uh, Travel Leaders Group and Travel Leaders Network sells. Uh, and you can take advantage of Internova's programs, like with Albert Herrera and Correct. people like that, who are overseeing some of this luxury. Who also work with your sister uh, Global Travel Collection as well. Absolutely, and that's the idea behind the or organization is to take advantage of our buying power to then give that to our members and ultimately their clients. And that's it. So that's where the power of Internova flows down through to the travel advisors and your travel agencies. Absolutely correct. Yeah. Now let's talk about business for uh, overall use. 23 is going to be great. 24, any idea? 24 is shaping up to be a great year. Um, you know, our advanced bookings for 24 absolutely are exceeding everything that we've seen in 23 and in 19. So. 24 shaping up to be a great year. No, it, it really shows. Now, what what uh, what stands out for 23 and going into 24? Uh, what type of travel? Cruises, all-inclusive, things like that? I would say everything. Everything, uh, yeah, yeah. There's a, across the board. Right? Uh, across the board. Um, you know, it's really exciting to see cruise coming back. Mm -hmm. uh, it started to come back, obviously, in 22, uh, but we were held back a little bit because of the slow relaunch on deployments and stuff like that. They had to do things right, and they did. But now we have all the ships back in the water. Uh, internationally, we're opening up with the restrictions that are going to be dropped for international travelers coming into the U.S. I think that will be a boom for some of our land partners here in the U.S. And additionally, um, you know, everything is really, really strong. All indications are we're going to have a great 23 and an even better 24. What's strong in terms of destinations? You mentioned Europe, of course, right? Yeah, you know, it, it, the, the traditionals, you know, the, the Italy's, uh, you know, France, uh, the UK, they're all strong. All those markets are extremely strong.
And outside of Europe? Outside of Europe, you know, I, I think uh, we're starting to see advanced bookings for the Asia-Pac region coming back and coming back strong as that started to open. That was really the last region in the world to open up. And uh, now that they're starting to open up or have opened up in some cases, you know, the advanced bookings for those areas are extremely strong. Yeah, it's amazing how it's really come back. So, and you mentioned actually some kind of like figure of 8% compound growth across the business, which is an amazing number across, uh, that, that, you know, no one may be expected to come back this soon, right? Exactly. And, um, you know, the 8% figure I really look at is just the projected growth of for the, the next five years. For the next five years, you know, you look at hotels being built, planes, uh, new planes coming into the to the market, cruise ships coming into the market. Right now is the best time to be a travel advisor, in my opinion. You look at the future growth at 8% over the next five years, you know, compounded. Um, it's just an exciting time to be a part of this industry. Well, you took my words out of my mouth. I was going to say now is the best of times to be, to be a travel advisor. Well, exactly. I, I don't think there's many industries um, out there that you can predict growth as well as we can in the travel industry. Now, is there anything that could derail that growth from your perspective? And, and, and not only that, but how uh, now that we've gone through perhaps the worst crisis the industry has ever seen, uh, have you put in anything into place to kind of, you know, in case something happens, you can help your members again? Well, I think we've all learned from the pause that we went through for two and a half years. Uh, those lessons, we'll never forget those lessons. Let's hope we just don't have to, ha you know, pull them out again, uh, quite honestly. Nobody wants that. But I, you know, I think governments around the world, local, uh, state governments, they've all learned from this. And, you know, in some cases it might be uh, a lesson well learned should a, another event happen that would potentially slow down travel. And in, internally for Travel Leaders Group and for Internova, is there some lesson you're taking away and kind of some crisis or for the next pause if we ever have one? I hope we don't have a pause. <laughs> no, I know. We're, we're talking about negative things on a positive year, right? Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I think um, we did a really good job. I think we were at, really worked with our members, our agencies um, to really keep them informed and gave them best practices to use to survive. Uh, very proud of what we did. Uh, never thought we'd have to teach things that we taught, uh, discuss things that we discussed. It was very hard. Um, but let's just hope we never have to go through a pause again. Yeah, and you really didn't lose that many members in the end. No, we didn't. Actually, you know, when you look at our overall count of travel sellers, uh, that's actually went up uh, since from 19. So we're very, very proud of that as well. That's great. Well, John, anything else you want to tell uh, the rest of the industry and also all of your travel leaders, uh, network uh, travel advisors out there? I would just say, you know, we've all made it. We've made it through the pause and we just, I think as an industry, just need to move on. There are better days ahead. We've experienced better days since really the middle of 22. Um, it's a great time to be in this industry and I just hope everybody um, takes it for what it is. It's the best time to be in this industry and I hope everybody um, enjoys the success from that. I think we are, and it's great. Well, thank you for taking the time, John. It's been a great conference so far. we got another day or so to go. Always enjoy being here with you and hanging out. And it's, uh, we've been talking for many, many years. We've known each other. Absolutely. And it really is a pleasure to be back with you again. And, James, it's a pleasure to be with you. Thanks for having me. I'm James Schellinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>